And I had made my mind up that I would never do uh, part, just one picture within a series with other directors. And never say never. I, uh, I got a phone call one day, I wasn't shooting anything, from a desperate producer saying that Bruno Kremer got sick and tired of playing with uh, Czech directors and Polish directors who don't speak English mm -hmm. and, of course, not French. And he said, I want a full-fledged French director. And I, when I got to Prague, I told him, well, you want a French director, you got a Belgian one. Pardon, monsieur, c'est pas chaud, hein? Vous ne seriez pas par hasard où se trouve la maison des Tourets? Tourets? Ah, pas sûr que je connais. Il habite au 16, juste en face. C'est même le seul qui travaille pas dans les trains ici. Merci beaucoup. Just to give you an idea, if one of these episodes uh, will cost one million dollars to shoot in mm -hmm. France, and with including the actors, and uh, you can shoot them for half that price in Czech Republic. One of the things that the local directors mm -hmm. didn't realize is whenever they had a low angle, they would catch the roofs. Mm -hmm. And the roofs are all wrong. You can see mm -hmm. you're not in Paris. Yeah. Yes. They've got sculptures, they've yes. got things that don't exist in Paris. Mm -hmm. You could do Brussels in Prague or vice versa, mm -hmm. but Paris is very difficult. I was very careful being a Parisian myself. I, I was able to see what was okay. Mm -hmm. And then you'd add either a bench. In this case, of course, we yes. added the, the bench. Mm -hmm. and, and a pissoir and, and stores. And <laughs> most of all, the Citroën cars. And a couple of small Renaults mm -hmm. that a period that came from France. And uh, it, it gives a lot of atmosphere. I had not read the book. Mm -hmm. I went straight to the script. I didn't have time. The, the producer called me at 7 p.m. She said, go to the office. You'll find the, the, the mm -hmm. script. Yeah. I went to the office. I went home and I read it, mm -hmm. slept, and called her the next morning. I liked the script. I thought the ending was convoluted and not very convincing. And I, I said, do you mind if we change the murderer or actually make it a, well, I won't say what. Ton ami Louis. Ton seul et meilleur ami, tu lui as même pris son canari. C'était une femelle et moi j'avais un mâle. Qui n'avait pas de femelle. Au fond, c'était une histoire d'amour. Ça coûte cher l'amour. Surtout quand on est amoureux d'une jolie fille comme ça. If you remember, I played the lawyer. Uh, the, uh, in front of him and uh, I, re I, I played it rather meanly. Like, have you had children? I know perfectly well he's had a child. And then I asked him, well, uh, is that child here? And he said, no, he's dead. I was really a monstrous mm -hmm. character. I like playing that. L'accusé s'est plaint d'avoir subi un mauvais traitement de votre part au cours de l'enquête. Reconnaissez-vous lui avoir extorqué ses aveux? Sûrement pas. Le témoin nie avoir frappé. Je lui ai peut-être donné une gifle comme je l'aurais fait pour un fils. Avez-vous un fils, commissaire? Non. Avez-vous jamais eu d'enfant Oui, j'ai eu une petite fille. Pardon, je ne vous ai pas entendu. Nous avons eu une fille qui n'a pas vécu. I had broken my arm on the second day. You know, they don't sweep the streets. This was winter, packed snow everywhere. And uh, after the second day of shooting, uh, walking out of the car back to the hotel, I slipped and broke my arm. Mm -hmm. And so I had it in a sling. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, French lawyers always wear big clothes. Mm -hmm. So that was okay. The, but then I, I was sort of stiff like this, so I had the idea of putting it in my back. It didn't hurt, but it, I, I, it was clumsy. So I just mm -hmm. put it out of sight. <laughs> 